there was an ironic movement in mid-2021 where protesters marched through the streets against the COVID vaccine, essentially saying the government should not regulate decisions regarding their health. They used the mantra, my body, my choice. Many were quick to point out that that attention hadn't pivoted to abortion. Pregnancy is a huge deal for the person who is pregnant. That person should be, be being able to make the choice about their bodies. And do we want governments telling us what we should do with our bodies? In Trinidad and Tobago, at least legally, that is what has always happened. The laws that govern access to abortion are contained within the Offenses Against the Person Act. It details the changes that are to be applied for people who either attempt to procure the termination of the pregnancy or assist in the act. Charges can be applied for purchasing the chemicals intended for use. Termination is only permitted if the woman's life would be endangered by carrying the child to term or if it would severely affect her mental health, which means that local women do not have access to body autonomy and must be given permission from a medical professional to have a legal abortion. And activists are saying that this amounts to a public health issue because women are forced to go underground with potentially disastrous consequences. Botched abortions and women attempting to get rid of an unwanted pregnancy creates so much harm. It harms the, uh, the, the body, it harms you know, physical and mental issues and so we know that from that perspective you know the the arguments around public health and making sure that women and girls have access to safe and legal termination of pregnancy is essential. Lynette Siberan Sweet is a former chair of the Equal Opportunity Commission and former chair of Advocates for Safe Parenthood improving reproductive equity. She says biologically a woman with childbearing capacity could become pregnant every month while living in circumstances where it is difficult to both carry or care for a child. Many women have sex in circumstances where they are not really in control of the circumstances of their having sex. In other words, they may be in an abusive relationship and they don't have very much choice over when and how they have sex. With a country that has a terrible track record with domestic violence murders, it is important to consider scenarios where women already at risk of violence could be further endangered by the birth of a child or children. What was revealed is that approximately half of all pregnancies are terminated by abortion. It's important to remember abortion laws are not rapidly enforced as they are about to be in the U.S., but access to abortion still favors women with means and leaves lower-income women and girls at a disadvantage because they are not likely to turn to the public health system and can probably not afford private, an issue we will discuss in the second part of this report. Sweeney Gray, CNC3 News.